Okay. Um, so, I went ahead and I melted the, the shell salt. So I melted this down. This is some Rochelle salt I got on eBay. And it's only Rochelle salt by itself. And uh, so now I've got some electrodes hooked up to it. And I'm going to check the polarity because I'm going to it's harden up a little bit, turn to crystal. And I'm going to check the polarity to see if uh, uh, if it's still positive and negative and so forth. And there I get more than one milliamp, that's for sure. So you can see there, I touch this. It's got a charge. Like I said, that's just Rochelle salt. I have uh, the rock shell salt crystal right here as a block. And uh, it's approximately same size as the uh, as what I have for the, uh, the small single disc test optica uh, device and uh, we think that these are crystals that the coils wrapped around and on top is a is a uh, a mesh that is coated with some kind of black paint or insulation and then here is a like an aluminum plate. Um, I have mine coated painted white but uh, we don't know for sure if that's the case. It could just be regular metal. So I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and test this uh, crystal that I have here and I'll determine this side as being positive, this side as being negative and I'm going to wrap the wire around it uh, in a certain direction that, in, that indicates negative and positive. Um, and then I'll attach it uh, to this uh, perforated aluminum plate, like so in the middle. And then I have here my uh, copper wire. And uh, I'm going to wrap this around it, the perimeter, on the outside, uh, just like this. And then what I'm going to do is just go ahead and take uh, this, whoops, this little mesh. Um, I don't have any more of this, and I don't want to buy any more. So I'm just going to use this, and uh, I'm going to place it on top. Yeah, I'm just going to do it with one hand. On top of the um, crystal like this. And I'm going to run a, a high voltage wire through this part here, maybe I'll say about 230 volts through here, just one wire, uh, so, so that to electrify this is one polarity. Okay, here's my test setup. I got one of these Fuji cameras, and um, there's still one in here. Anyway, so I used one of those Fuji cameras, I took it apart. I used the, uh, I took off the high voltage capacitor and I replaced the high voltage capacitor uh, with these, these here. The battery, um, I ended up losing it someplace, I don't know what happened to it, but I do have my DC power supply and I'm going to put it down as low as it can go, which is 3 volts, which is actually quite high for this thing. This takes one one and a half volts. So I could very well burn it up. I do have an extra uh, camera. I attached some little posts here. Uh, this is the output high voltage posts and these are the low voltage uh, DC and I got I, I'm actually not even using those posts. I'm just hooking it up right here. And uh, I have one one wire connected to this base plate to produce a um, a single pol polarity voltage, high voltage, and then the other wire I have going to absolutely nothing at this point. Actually, that's not true. It goes to this um, little light. 
but otherwise the other end doesn't go into anything. And uh, and then I have my crystal underneath this with a coil wrapped around it. And uh, each end of that coil goes to this toroid coil here, transformer, a uh, one-to-one one -one transformer basically. And uh, then to my meter. And we'll see what happens when I turn this on. I turn on my meter first. Currently the coil shows nothing as far as DC voltage goes. So I'm going to turn this on. Maybe it'll help if I plug it in. Oh, Alright, as you can see, the little light is lighting up for the Fuji camera. So I do have a voltage going through.